Uh, woo. What's up, guys? What's this is up? Brian. Jesse. You're watching MMA the Hard Way in the car. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. We wanted to... We don't got too much time. We got a midweek here, but we, we couldn't not break down UFC on Fox 6. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a good card. It's a really, wow. really great card. 13 fights. Every single one of these fights is I don't see a week I don't even see a anything near a week uh, fight mm -mm. on the entire card we're gonna break down the I think we're gonna try to break down the top seven yeah and uh, just go really go quick back to the and top. forth how about we got uh, boy oh boy big fight Dennis Seaver Nam fan Nam fan uh. that's uh you know one thing you mentioned uh Dennis Seaver's ranked number three in the world. I know, you know, I didn't realize that until I started looking into it myself, and it was like, wow, you know, he's been kind of, he was sneaking in under the radar yeah. at lightweight, mm -hmm. but at 145, he's globally ranked he, at number three. He's a great kicker. I, You know what I'm thinking, you know, even though this one's for seven, seven fights down on the mm -hmm. card, this is the secret, hey, if he gets this win, yeah, he's going to get a shot. Mike kind of pulled pull him up to Aldo, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and, 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 and the other thing I'm thinking... For Nam Fam, mm -hmm. wow, you know, step up. It's, it's a, a big step, step up, up because he's a fight of the night yeah. winner. You yeah. know, big Every, step up. Everyone knows he always brings it, and the UFC is again paying him back. Yeah, with boy, oh boy. And they've paid him when he's got that wrong decisions one where a lot of people went and went to you know when he was yeah, overlooked. Garcia, Garcia, yeah, and yep. they still paid him. So, you know, he's he's becoming a company man. Then we have Rafael Asensio and Mike Easton. Um, yeah, so that's that's gonna be a, that's an interesting fight. That's a really interesting fight. Yeah, two guys at 135. Um, I think uh, uh, Asensio is ranked. Uh, num I think he's pretty much ranked number six in the USC, number ten overall mm -hmm. globally. And then you've got Mike Easton, who's maybe eleventh, uh, ranked eleventh in the in the UFC, twenty one global, twenty first globally. The thing is with these guys, though, is it's just like don't blink. They're yeah. so fast, they're so athletic, and the uh, the difference between so number ten and number five is just razor thin at yeah. that weight class. Yes, once you start getting up to the, to that area, it's just very very small. Yeah. Uh, the next one's uh, Mike Chiesa. And, uh, uh, ultimate fighter winner. Yeah. Uh, now I see that. Uh, I see that going. You know, it's going to go to the ground. I, I see Mike Chiesa taking it to the ground. Uh, Marcus. Uh, that's how you know Cody submitted Marcus in the last fight. So and you know Mike Chiesa has got some phenomenal ground control. Yeah, a lot of his wins come from submission. Yep. And yeah, Cody McKenzie uh, already. Uh, uh, submitted uh, the other guy, so definitely a weakness there. Mm -hmm. he, he's probably going to try to keep it on the feet. I'm assuming. Yeah, one's going to try and keep it on the feet. Uh, Mike is going to try and take it to the ground, and sub him. Yeah. Then you have Brandon Schwab versus, uh, uh, you know, Lavar Johnson. Uh, yeah. That's that's going to be quick and deadly. Well, who who are the guys that uh, Lavar Johnson? He's finished a couple. Well, of yeah, he he. I mean, he stopped. You know, uh, the executioner, and then he. TKO, you know Pat Barry. Oh, man. I mean, that, I mean that guy's got he's a on the rise. Chin. Yeah, he's, he's on the right. rise. He did, you know, fought back against Stefan Struve, but it was an arm bar. But yeah. up and, but, you know, he had him rocked a couple Stephen times. Stefan Struve. I mean, he's Stefan Struve's. You know, he's become a. We've watched in front of our face. He's become developed a uh, an elite fighter. Yeah, you know? and and the guy is seven feet tall. Oh, man, boy, man. And uh, uh, you know, then Brendan we, Schaub. He's. Uh, He's, he's got, got he's, he's rebounding back from uh, you know uh, from his loss in Brazil. Yep, but he's didn't he knock out Nogueira? Yeah, that's right. That was his big claim to yeah, fame. Yeah, and uh, then, there, so. then then next we have uh, Mike Swick Swickatin and Matt uh, Brown. Matt Brown, you know this is these guys. You know I'm doing a uh, UFC welterweight division analysis, mm -hmm. and stay tuned. It's going to be up uh, within a couple of days. We go through. 57 guys in the welterweight, the entire welterweight division, diagnosed upside and down. And these two guys came up, and they're both at the top of the top 30. Mm -hmm. But this is who wants to break into the top 20. And um, both of these guys. Oh, Wayne could catapult them. It's a total slugfest, literally. Yeah. These are both two stand up guys that are just balls out, gonna. Hold it, it, nothing back. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be quick. Uh, then we have, you know, we're gonna oh, get. To, oh boy. man, <laughs> BJ Penn and Rory. This man, oh you man. You know what? 
what Rory just lit something under BJ well, yeah, you, because you, what were you telling me about how BJ's looking? Oh man, you know there was a there was a picture that came out that I mean he looks like he's been eating one too many cheeseburgers. BJ Payne, he looked really he looked bad. Honestly, he looked really out of shape. And when you know BJ Penn got wind uh, of Roy's, you know smack talking stuff, you yeah. know that basically you know he he brought back the strength and conditioner, uh, you know, uh, you know, help from back in the days when he was at one fifty five. And mm. I'm telling you right now, he said he was at forty percent, you know, fat, you know, weight, whatever. Uh, his ratio, he's at single digits. I saw the video of him, and he looks. I have never seen BJ this chiseled. I mean, he is chiseled, and he's this said, far out too. And yeah, and he says that he's already at, he's pretty he's pretty much almost at weight already, and he, he said his cardio is phenomenal. Mm. You know, so that's gonna be you know you know if BJ Penn beats Roy convincingly, there might be some title talk. There might well, be some title you know, talk. Uh, BJ Penn, I, uh, I I did my welterweight uh, analysis. BJ uh, Penn is globally ranked as the number ten mm -hmm. welterweight in the world, so mm -hmm. he's in the top ten. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this would put him up there with. Now imagine if BJ Penn knocks off Rory. Who knows? Maybe a rematch with Nick Diaz. That could happen. I mean, you know? you know, with BJ, he's a main event guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's always going to bring the crowd. Yeah. And especially if it looks like he's back. Yeah. You know? No, he wow. lo he looks he looks focused. His those pictures that surface of him and the video of him, you know, sparring, he looks outstanding. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go up to uh, Hua and Gustafsson. That's that's gonna be a good fight. So good. I have been way ever since they announced that. I was just like. Wow! Very intriguing oh fight. Oh my gosh! Very you know, intriguing. With Shogun, um, I'd say his strategic advantage is his his kicks. Yes. I mean, the guy has just the most blistering kicks in the world. Oh. Uh, you've seen these uh, slow mo videos. Yeah. Um, if you check out the channel, I've got one. Um, I think it's. I, I think I uploaded it. Still there. It's called "What Have I Done." Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it shows the slow motion of Shogun with the to the music of Jaws. Uh, I mean his his legs when you see him standing up with those tight you know white shorts. I mean he is all legs. Yeah. I mean just the, and you're right. The keys are are going to be the but success. Also, you know, with Shogun, he has an underrated ground game that we rarely see. You're, you, know? you know what? You're right. You're right. He's you're one right. of those guys. Like, hey, Vitor, he's pulling that stuff out. Yeah. You know, he's a legit um, jits guy. He's and, a legit jits guy. You but... know, Gosasun is a striker. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, he got subbed by Phil Davis. Phil, Phil Davis yeah. got that anaconda. What did he do? He went over to Alliance and started training with Phil. Said, "How do I get better?" You know, I watched him. I've, I've uh, uh, filmed him. He was in the first episode of MMA the Hard Way mm -hmm. at uh, Rain Training Center, and I got to see him in in the striking uh, this, this, with Verdum. And that guy is a legitimate, unbelievable, stinking beast. Uh, I, I, I this fight's gonna be. I, I I I could I could potentially see that maybe fight of the night. I, I, I just can't wait. Uh, yeah, this is I, I, uh, something that I've just because it has it, it, it's one of those fights that. It can go everywhere. everywhere. The guys everywhere. have, they're both, they, they know they have heart. Gustafson, the most important fight of his entire career. Mm -hmm. He's fighting a legend, mm -hmm. you know. This will propel him into elite status. This will make him a legitimate top ten, yeah. if not, well, it's hard to say it that way, class. It, it's, uh, it's a fight that I'm really looking forward to. Because, yeah, like yeah. you said, it could go either way. Boy, I mean, it's I mean, it could it could be a war or it could a, be quick. definitely a contender a contender battle. Yes. A lot of people say it's a contender battle. If if Gustafsson puts a stamp on this, t possible title talk, yeah, possible title definitely. talk. Uh, then we have Main this event. fight is the oh, one I boy. really want to see, Henderson and yeah. Diaz. I, you know, Man. I'm so remember when we talked about Edgar and I, I talked about how I kind of didn't want him to win because I was tired of seeing him in the these, rematch. These, six fights. Six yeah, championship these, fights. The, the only guy in history to have three three rematches in a row. He's just a decision guy. Yeah. Um, he's going to be a beast. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, he's going to be a beast against Aldo. Uh, yeah. You know? I'm looking forward to that too. But I'm looking forward to that too. Now we're talking about guys that finish being in title fights. This one. Oh man. Nate Diaz has, 
earned that title He's shot. He's on a tear. I oh, mean, man. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm really, I want to see how this fight, you know, goes on. Nate Diaz never been knocked out. Never been knocked out. He you hasn't know, been submitted since what? Six years by uh, Hermes Franca. Hermes Franca. Yeah. WEC. WEC. Yeah. WC. So I mean, it's been a yeah. while, but he 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 goes in there for the finish. He gets in your face. You know, they yeah. might start off with a game plan, but that game plan goes out the window once those strikes start flying. The thing with him and his brother, though, the way that they fight, they kind of flat-footed. You mm -hmm. notice that? And not a lot of movement. Henderson is a movement guy. Yeah. You know. And I'm wondering if that if that athleticism and that movement is going to play a thing. If he's mm -hmm. going to do, because I kind of see this almost like Diaz Condit. Yeah. But, you know, the flip this side. is his. Uh, Henderson is his Condit. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I kind of see it like that, and I wonder if it's going to be where Henderson's going to uh, uh, be just outpointing him. They, you know, they both they're they're both pretty well well rounded, like you stated. Both have great chins. Yeah. Both have, you know, both you know, going for the finish. Both have phenomenal cardio. Phenomenal, uh, just super so athletes. I, yeah. I, 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 you know, this. <sighs> I mean, this fight. I don't know where it'll, it'll go. I mean, this but is, it's gonna be a great fight. I haven't looked forward to a lightweight fight. Me uh, too. Like this since BJ was. Um, yeah. You know. Same here. Same here. I mean, I, I mean, it's just this is bringing new. You know, believe it or not. Like you stated, with Edgar moving down, it kind of frees up the 155 because for a while it was stagnant. It was oh, just, gosh. it was, it was on hold. Like literally, someone just. That's put, right. There's such a bottleneck. Yes. We're gonna see. Oh, if Henderson does win, he's gonna defend that belt. Yeah. Probably twice in 2013. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And, I, uh, I, I mean, it's it's gonna be a yeah. great fight. So, what do you think? Your final thoughts on uh, Henderson I've, Diaz? I've got Nate Diaz. Okay. Um, He's probably not betting wise. I don't think he has, but and I'm a Caesar Gracie uh, fan. You know what? And uh, I, you know. I I love the Diaz. I I see this going to Nick uh, to Nate as well. Um, I see it maybe going three rounds. Maybe either TKO three rounds or sub three rounds I I, 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 I see it ending Henderson, in the third round I think Henderson is going to is going to take him down because he's not going to be able to win on the feet mm -hmm. and I think Nate's going to catch him I think Nate's going to why would him. he want to go to the ground with Nate or Nick I mean I don't know. It, it's just like playing Russian roulette with five yeah. rounds in a six chamber it's just I mean the yeah. you know hey. I love the little story, the little side blurb story when, you know, when they asked him some, I forgot which reporter asked him, you know, so what do you think of your, you know, your Gomi win? He goes, I did that for my brother. You know, I mean, he he held on to that grudge since That's what I pride. did about them, man. They don't, they do not, they're like uh, elephants. They do not forget. Oh, man. You know, so, so I'm hey, looking forward to it. That's all the time we've got. Thank you very much. Hey, new subscribers out there, we dig in the comments, um, you know, uh, we encourage you to keep subscribe, share this with your friends. We're going to grow this and um, pass it around. All right. And have a good time. Take care, guys. See ya.